Hey, this is part two of my Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. I ended the last one kind of quick, so I want to apologize. So, But we're back, because I'm just doing this uh, pretty much uh, as I go along. So, Alright, part two. It's the Afro Mauler, hey. Oh no, the Master Sword has been broken. I feel like Samus is gonna be like, yo, Link, what you doing, man? Getting depowered is my thing. Decayed Master Sword. The sword that seals the darkness. Its sacred power has been dis diminished after being ravished by the gloom beneath Hyrule Castle. <laughs> that was, so is that what we're calling that? The gloom? It was, it was destroyed by the gloom? Are we calling the dude the gloom? Alright, why to attack? Uh, let's, I'm just gonna look around this room. Probably there's nothing here. Of course, all my stamina is gone somehow. The guy took my hearts and my stamina. We're just gonna hop around. Hey, what was that? Oh, this just... Alright, let's get out of here. And slice there! Ooh, I feel like I'll be back here later. Hmm. I feel like I will. Oh, maybe not. So you know when a platform looks like you can, like, jump on it? And your brain is like, you should see what happens if you jump on that platform. So I'm just gonna take a real, real quick uh, look over here. Can I climb this wall? No, I still have to come back when I have abilities. I cannot climb this wall. And apparently, I know how to get up there. Obviously, it would be... Ascension would get you up there, so... Yeah, I'll come back, maybe. If I remember, I'm sure I'll actually have to come back. I think that this is going to be... Yeah, I forgot to jump. My bad. This is what happens when you play Xbox, and then you play your Switch, and you're just like... It's weird that that's a different button. So, like... To jump is X, but to jump off a platform is A. They should have made it the same button. That would have made a little more sense. Landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. That's probably a good thing, because there's going to be a lot of diving. Let's go get some clothing over here, I presume. Whatever's in here. I might have already spoiled this game partially, so... Is it clothing? I can't remember. I actually remember. <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay. I'm gonna put that on. Equip. Ooh, Link. Yes, I know. I, I just did it! Alright. Let's go... Outside... Again. Very familiar. It's like, I've done this before. Like, I just love hopping around. I'm slightly curious what would happen if I had messed up that jump and just pressed X. <laughs> Not curious enough to start the game over, maybe I will one day. When I start my fresh save, I'll be like, I'm just gonna mess this up just to see what it's like. This is the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, folks. It is just me, the Afro Mauler. We're gonna accelerate. Oh, that's the wrong button. 
Yeah, dive, Blinky. Wow. That is a beautiful, beautiful score. Great Sky Island. We're going to pick up the stick. We know the drill, folks. Tree branch. Wooden branches such as this are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. This is... We're not... We're not... Uh, we're not going to be surprised here. This, this is uh, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yeah, we're going to equip that. Um, yeah. So, yeah. So pretty much the same Breath of the Wild ish. Uh, we're gonna do do do. Where am I going? I guess I'm just gonna follow the path. Look, I'm gonna go attack this thing. Oh, I want an apple here. Yes, okay, we don't need to. Alright, so. Soldier construct horn. I do I have to read everything. So when I charge a material used as a power source for construction of the devices, its strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. Man, I really don't know how other YouTubers do this. Like read everything. Oh uh, my goodness, that's a lot. I really don't do a lot of VO. Wooden stick, a tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Sure, because you told me to. I will. I'm intimidated. I, I do what I'm told. Like, when games tell you do this, you must do this. So we're just gonna go over here. Right. I'm gonna run. Run some more. And let's get up here. What's is this, uh, what's in here? Yeah, I'll take another tree branch. I love me some tree branches, guys. Alright, let's go over here and talk to... Whatever this is. I don't know. It's got a broom. Is it a broom? Looks like a broom. I'm sure some Zelda fan is like really mad at me that I don't know all this stuff. Like some hardcore Zelda fans out there yelling at his screen, "You're an idiot." <laughs> this is. This does not uh, creep Link out at all. Link, I have waited for you. Wow, that that, that was not. That's not creepy. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. It's her Pura Pad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Yo, Link got the hookup. Pura Pad, Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential. For adventure. Adventure. What, man? This, I really like that show. Alright, here we are. It's it's the map of the kingdom. What a surprise. I got nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to show that off. Alright, we're gonna... Let's get back. Get in. I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. My question is, where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. Interesting. The Garden of Time. Hmm. So the Temple of Time is visible from here. Looks a little different from the last time I saw it, but yeah, I'll, I'll accept it. It is used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. All right, but no more. Now it is the only place no one visits. That is so sad. I'm gonna have to change that. I'm gonna have to change that. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna go visit. Fine, Princess Zelda. Just touch everything, man. Link's not worried. Link's just touching it all. This is ah, oh, this is a crazy ancient device. I don't know what it does. I'm gonna put my hand on it. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? That's that's this. Man, video games, aren't they great, folks? Just walk right through that. I'm gonna talk to this guy over here. He seems like he's really jacked. Jazzed. 
I'm just grabbing some apples. Yeah, what's up, homie? Hello, you seem to be new here. Be wary of soldier constructs as you travel this way. Soldier constructs? Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zonai, who created us, directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser too. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. That's what you're already doing, by the way. It is crucial to maintain a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. So they just told me how to lock on. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. Alright, I targeted the dude. We're gonna pick up this wooden stick. We're gonna target these pots, though. Yeah, we need- we're gonna need all these apples. Eventually. Alright, I should've picked one of those up and taken them with me, but it'll be okay. I'm sure there will be more. Can I take it with me? Uh, no, I can just throw it. I don't need the tree branch right this second. I think I'm good. How much actually inventory? I don't know where my inventory limit is right now, so... Obviously, I cannot call my horse. I'm sorry I keep doing that. We're gonna... Oh! 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 Ooh, I just barely made it. <laughs> I guess I pressed the wrong button. Alright. That's what happens when you... I really feel like X should have been, um... Yeah. Anyway... Oh, wait, I can pick up this mushroom. What kind of mushroom is it? Sky Shroom! A common mushroom that grows near trees on sky islands. Eat it to restore health. Yeah. Okay. I can dig it. So I am just going to head in the general direction. I'm, I'm pretty much not going to get too awful distracted. So, um, just going to uh, pretty much not get too awful distracted, I said. <laughs> now, but I, I do want to play, not expeditiously, not, not quickly, but I don't want to dwell in any one area. But I will kick these guys' booties. Y'all want some of this? Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Oh, we got me. Alright. Long stick. A stick fashioned from a tree branch. Its straight shape makes it work well as a lunging weapon. We are actually going to equip that. Equip it. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, I probably need to find a place to cook some food. Crouching increases my stealth, yes. Uh, is there gonna be a cauldron anywhere nearby? I want to cook some things. I should look for one real quick, like... Yes, there is a fire, but no cauldron. Hmm, interesting. Toasty Sky Shroom. Simply grilled Sky Shroom. The heat brings out the flavor and increases the amount of health it can restore. Let's do that real quick. Ah, I roasted that, but it is yours if you want. You roast them. Oh, I had not noticed before the or from me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. Wow, man. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roast ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to this fire to roast them. Oh, but I'm not going to roast. I am going to... Well, I'm going to eat. Uh, okay. Is it... Oh, so it is uh, listed under food already. Interesting. 
All right. See, that was X for that dive. They should see that's just... Come on, Nintendo. He's got the shield! <laughs> Rusty broadsword, this once. Fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. Old wooden shield, an aged, worn-out shield. It can withstand lighter attacks, such as arrows. Yes, I'm about to. Alright, zone I charge. Let's go. Alright. I am not prepared for a fight. Let's do it. So I'm gonna look at this one. Wow, wow, that's like this is interesting. What are these seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the one. Let's see what happens. I'm sure I need to insert something. Oh boy. <laughs> Just touching everything, this guy. Ooh. Oh, you're not allowed in there, homie. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. Not creepy. I am wrong. Hey, he's the source of the right arm. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. Thanks for telling me you're dead. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Hmm. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Shrines. Yes, I'm sure they are the key. Okay. Well, let's do what the creepy ghost guy told us to do. So, I'm going to... Yes. <laughs> I'm going to pause here. Uh, thank you for watching part two. Part 3 coming up soon. Thanks for watching.